But we're underneath the hood of our 1965 Ford Mustang convertible. Uh, really, really a nice car. Uh, this particular car has the optional 200 cubic inch uh, six cylinder engine that came from the factory. Original exhaust manifold, cast iron, original uh, style intake manifold, nothing has been modified on this engine whatsoever other than replacement, uh, uh, better grade plug wires. Uh, uh, it's just the, absolutely the way it came from the factory. Uh, you don't have to worry about air conditioning because there isn't any. And you don't have to worry about power steering or power brakes either because it doesn't have that either. But what it does have is a fantastic engine compartment. Uh, it does have the uh, a heater hookup yet for the uh, passenger compartment. Appears to be a new master cylinder, single stage, that would have been stock for this car in 1965. The original equipment radiator that's absolutely in pristine condition. All nice rubber uh, uh, seals on the car. The uh, VIN tag is still um, evident, the number on the uh, inner fender panel. Uh, hoses are all nice and resilient. Everything is just as nice and clean as can possibly be in the engine compartment. Nice semi-flat black the way it would have been from the factory. Uh, new battery, the original type battery hold down for it. New alternator, uh, the original style uh, wiper bag uh, for the uh, windshield solvent. I can see absolutely nothing under this engine compartment or in this engine compartment that isn't as the way it was in 1965 when this car was produced. It has a new filter on the uh, uh, fuel pump, four blade uh, solid fan, new belt. The car is just absolutely as it was in 1965. Gorgeous, gorgeous engine compartment. These motors ran forever never were a problem, they just ran and ran and ran. Fantastic engine for Ford Motor Company. Let's go around the rest of the car. Perfect hood fitment, you can see about an eighth of an inch the whole way across, clean up into the cowl area, down across the front. Ford lettering across the front, nice as can be. Eighth of an inch again, down this side, down the driver's side. The paint on this car is very, very, very nice. Much better than a standard paint job on this car, much better than an average uh, driver quality paint job. Very nice car. And we haven't even buffed or glazed this thing yet. It's just the way we got it. Uh, Jeff and Rod washed it off and Devin and I are doing a presentation for you now, but the car just is absolutely as nice as you'll find one. Again, paint the whole way across the hood, no marks, no dings, no chips, absolutely nothing. All the uh, uh, grill software is just as it was when it was new in 1965. Really great. Chrome on the front bumper is a foot thick. It's absolutely as nice as could be. A little tiny bit of a chip here. I don't know what that is, but there's something on the bumper there. It looks like a stone may have hit it and put a little bit of nerf there, but it, uh, it's not a dent. It's a little bit of a chip in the chrome. Fitment of the bumper is absolutely spot on. You'll not find one any nicer than that. That's as nice as it gets. Front valance, nice and clear parking lamps in them, your little bumperettes coming down. The chrome on them is really as nice as it is on the uh, top of the bumper. Great front end of this car. Filler panel. Everything on the front end of this car, everything on the nose of this car lines up. The quality of the fit, the finish and everything is much superior than it would have been in 1965 when this car was produced by Ford. Let's get down to the driver's side see what we can find there. Okay, down to the driver's side of our 65 Ford Mustang convertible. A uh, little bit of a roll on the fenders the way Ford did them. Really as nice as can be. This could be dropped down just in here. The uh, gaps are absolutely as nice as can be. This side of the hood for whatever reason is up just a little tiny bit. Have to knock that down just a, just a hair. Front fender to the door to the rocker panel, you're not going to find it much better than that. That's as nice as it gets. Correct wiper arms and blades on this car for 1965. Trim around the uh, front window, no marks whatsoever, no chips in the glass anywhere, just a standard windshield on it. It's not tinted, uh, just a standard window on it. The original couple wrinkles on the top of the dashboard, just from age, from usage, from age, sunlight. Uh, you absolutely would not replace it. It does have originality. You can 
barely see it, but it is there. Where it transitions onto the base of the windshield, just nice and clean though. Uh, rubber is still resilient after all these years. Even around the wing area it is. Correct driver side mirror. Chrome on the door handle as sweet as can be. Look at this. The fitment of the uh, door to the uh, quarter panel. Absolutely stunning. Chrome on the uh, correct mirror. Nice as can be. Fitment to the rocker panel, the door, everything is nice as you'd ever, ever want to find. The whiskers are absolutely as new. I'm going to say that they're original, but they absolutely do not need replaced. And the fitment is just awesome. There's just no overhang to any of the uh, stainless beading on it, uh, inside or outside. Fantastic fitment of the uh, uh, wipes on this vehicle. Quarter panel, our little scoops, usually these are corroded up a little bit. These are absolutely as new condition. We usually do these with the top up. Um, Devin had it down. We can show it's a black interior, so it shows off a lot better when we do an interior presentation. Top is down. The top is absolutely like new. Uh, Devin has photos of it that you'll see, some still photographs that you'll see the uh, absolute uh, phenomenal condition of the uh, top. It also does have the original factory type boot on it. Tin. No bondo. All tin. Quarter panel, just as nice as you'd ever want to find. Does have a set of white wall tires on it, about three quarter inch white walls, the way they would have come uh, in 1965, 66. It has the standard hubcaps, uh, gives it a lot of originality, a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of look forward for the year, 1965. It's just a great car and a great color combination. If I remember, I think this was called Poppy Red, but I'm not positive. Fantastic color. Nice looking car, laser straight down the sides. I mean, absolutely as nice as you'll ever find. Let's look out back. Okay, we're around the back end of our 65 Mustang convertible. Again, just like the hood fitment, you can see about an eighth of an inch the whole way around. Absolutely gorgeous fitment on this, uh, on this Mustang. These are usually all corroded up. This one is not. has the original type Mustang gas cap on it. Trim around the... Uh, Nice shiny tail light assemblies, as nice as can possibly, possibly be. Both sides, filler panel, no dents or marks in it whatsoever. This particular car does not have optional backup lights on it. Chrome on the bumper is absolutely as thick as you'd ever want to find, and the fitment is just like the front one. It could not possibly fit any better than it does. Rear volance with your two bumperettes to match the two front ones. Um, no pull marks, no nothing. Little single exhaust pipe on that right hand side. Fantastic back end of this car. It mimics the front. I mean, there's absolutely nothing that, uh, uh, that you could uh, call a negative on the back end of this car. It's just fantastic. One more side, we're done. Okay, up the passenger side of our 1965 Mustang. Again, look. All 10. No bondo, no filler, no nothing. Quarter panel as sweet as you could possibly find one. Look at this. Again, our wipes whiskers are just, they appear to be original and they do not need replaced. Look at the fit of this. Look, same as the other side. Just totally amazing. It, it, it's like this car's never been disrupted in any way. Again, nice chrome uh, scoop type on the uh, passenger side. Same as on the driver's side. Again, the wife's whiskers, the fitment is absolutely precision on these things, absolutely as precise as can be. Door handle, original, and just as nice as you'd ever want to find. Right hand mirror, great addition to any car, any of these old cars. Paint on the door to the rocker panel. Look at this, there's not one single, I haven't come across a chip, a mark, a ding, a scuff, nothing yet, absolutely nothing. Fitment to the front fender. Absolutely gorgeous. This side of the hood fits just the way it should. Uh, it looks like, I'm going to say this is an aftermarket antenna. We may have to replace that. I don't like this, whatever this black stuff is. We'll probably put a new antenna on it. Back to the uh, place where we started up front. <clears throat> Not a single mark, chip, ding, scuff, nothing on this paint. Absolutely nothing. Car's phenomenal. 
It's a 65 Mustang convertible, uh, base car, three speed on the floor, six cylinder, 200 inch, which was an optional motor from what I understand. Um, it's just as nice a car as you're ever going to find. It has a as new convertible top on it. It does have the factory style boot with it. Uh, we'll go over the undercarriage and the interior here momentarily, but it's a nominally priced car. It's a car that you're not going to spend uh, an arm and a leg for, but you're going to have just as much fun with this car as you do with one that's a 271 Hypo car for a third the money. So uh, this is a good buy that you have to take a look at on your Hangster's website here in Daytona Beach, Florida. Well, we're inside of our 65 Mustang uh, little six-cylinder convertible. Um, original sun visors in it. This is definitely the original padded dash that this car was born with, there's no question. A couple little wrinkles on the very top, again, you would not replace this, absolutely not. Original AM radio that this car was born with. Glove compartment, just as it was when it was new. The gauge cluster is just nice and clean and crisp as could possibly be. Uh, the horn ring itself, uh, the trident here is just the chrome, is absolutely beautiful on it. Mustang designation in the center. How about this? No cracks on the uh, steering wheel. That's just totally amazing. I don't feel a single crack on her anyway. All the uh, trim around the windshield, around the tops of the doors, uh, dashboard, everything on this car is just as nice and fresh as could be. Uh, I, I really think this is the original interior of this car. The carpeting, a little bit of graying on the carpeting here, a little bit where it's starting to turn that brownish gray. Could be easily fixed with a little shot of uh, black dye, but <clears throat> looks just as nice as could possibly be. Uh, window cranks, door handles, everything on the uh, the doors themselves are just as sweet and nice as you'd ever want to find. And again, I think I'm going to call this original interior because I really don't think it's been replaced. It appears to be 100% original inside this car. Uh, door panels the same way, armrests, they're not uh, deteriorated in any way. It does have an aftermarket radio system in it also. Uh, uh, with a set of auxiliary speakers in the kick panels, which someone has placed in here and uh, done a pretty nice job on it, actually. Very nice job. And this is it. We have a three speed manual transmission with this car. Reverse, first, second, third. It does have an auxiliary temperature gauge under the dash so you can monitor the temperature of the engine. Power top. How about that? Someone opted for a workable power top on this vehicle. It's a, it's a great car. The condition is phenomenal. I mean, you will not find a nicer Mustang convertible than this particular one. I believe the color is called Poppy Red. Um, black interior, six cylinder, three speed. It's just a fantastic original style 65 Mustang convertible. And it's available here at Hangsters. You're going to be really surprised what you can buy this car for and have a heck of a lot of fun with it. 65. Ford Mustang. Uh, horn. Horn does not work. Yes, it does. Horn works. Uh, let's see what this is. It's a vent. Take her to wipers. What else? Wipers. Okay, wipers are functional. Wipers work. Okay, turn signals left working. Turn signals right working. Fuel gauge, we've got uh, three quarters of a tank of fuel. Uh, original radio does not function, however, it is present. And it does have an aftermarket system in it that does work. Devin, how'd you do that? You just turn this. So aftermarket system does work. Has an auxiliary temperature gauge, which I'm sure will be coming up here soon. We just fired this thing up. Um, it's good for ride. You can see. Wow, nice smooth running car. Real quiet. Up here where we can let go a little bit here. Steering, straight as can be. Real nice, no hands. Still no hands on the steering wheel. 
system of Australia is to be. A stripe breaks no hands. Eh, a little bit of a pull to the left. It could be just because they haven't been used for long. But car runs straight and true as could be. Steering's nice and tight. Really nice car. Very tight. Very nice positive steering in it. Fantastic condition. Find a much nicer car than this. This is a really, really nice running. Uh, it's just a standard Mustang convertible. Underneath our 1965 red, the black trim Mustang uh, convertible, a little six-cylinder car, but really an outstanding piece of equipment. I mean, very, very great condition for the year. Um, does have the original Anna Sway bar in the front, drum brakes front and rear. Subframes are really solid on the car. You can see there's no deterioration whatsoever on either one of them. Actually, no jack marks even. Absolutely nothing. The uh, torque boxes in the front are uh, real nice and solid. The uh, convertible only type structural support in the center of the vehicle, uh, nice and solid with the tie-in piece that goes from one side to the other uh, to give it some rigidity because of it being a convertible, not having a top to uh, rely on for that. You can see the, uh, it's a six-cylinder motor, 200-inch uh, uh, six, which I guess is the optional uh, uh, engine on these cars. A little tiny bit of dampness on the uh, transmission, not really enough to even generate a drip, but it does have a little tiny bit of dampness to it, but not coming from the engine. It appears to be just the transmission. Could be just the leakage on the seals from not being used a whole lot. Looks like a fairly new uh, uh, tie rod end set up on it. Uh, they appear to have been replaced. It looks like this uh, idler arm has been replaced at some point too. Cast iron exhaust manifold, original, looks like about an inch and three quarter uh, pipe that, uh, header pipe that comes down off of it. The original three speed manual transmission in this car. That's what this car was born with and that's what it retains at this point. Original brake line still intact and, and heading toward the rear. The um, fuel line is also the original fuel line. Parking brake assembly is uh, original and functional, as you can see, too. It's really great condition. No leaks on the back of the tail shaft. How about that? This guy has a Hurst shifter in it. Even though it's a three-speed, someone has gone to the uh, uh, extent to go ahead and put a Hurst uh, shifter in it. Uh, no leaks back at the uh, tail shaft end. Looks like new U-joint on the drive shaft. Floor pans are really in great, great condition. Very, very nice uh, condition. I can't tell whether they've been replaced or not. If they have been, they've been very professionally done. There's no marks on them, uh, and nothing to indicate that they have been replaced. Looks like the pinch welds are still there uh, on the uh, rocker panels where they adhere to the uh, floorboards themselves. This is a great car so far, halfway back, and I really haven't found anything structurally or uh, mechanically. You can see that the uh, drive line itself is, again, a little tiny bit of dampness, but certainly not enough to uh, warrant any uh, attention, not even enough to produce a, uh, a drip. So let's see what's on the second half for you. Okay, I neglected to uh, mention it. it looks like the shocks have been replaced in the front. 
and they've definitely been replaced in the back. They're a newer design shock in the rear. Uh, the front ones have been replaced also, by the way. And um, it does have a new round of rubber on it too. Front and back are all new uh, uh, tires, uh, three-quarter inch white wall. Standard uh, whatever inch it may be, uh, Ford uh, differential in the back that would have come in this car. Uh, no leaks whatsoever evident. Leaf spring rear end. Um, nice arch to the uh, uh, leaves themselves yet. The uh, torque boxes and subframes in the back are just as nice as you can find. A couple little jack stand marks on that one and none on one on this one. One on that one. A couple jack stand marks and then that's it. Again, drum brakes in the back. It has a transverse muffler uh, between the differential and the uh, uh, gas tank. I'm going to call it inch and a half pipe uh, coming out of the uh, uh, muffler and uh, going out the back. One single pipe. One big old dent in the gas tank. Uh, passenger side. Nothing to uh, uh, really warrant any uh, attention. It has a brand new sending unit in it and fuel uh, uh, lines going forward on it and new wiring. Nice car. Uh, I don't see anything on the substructures. The floor pans themselves in the back are all original. It still has the original tie downs from Ford Motor Company on it uh, for tying this car down for shipment. Um, absolutely nothing. Uh, drop downs in the quarters, the uh, pan in the back, uh, the entire undercarriage of this car, the rear floor pans. Uh, you can see the floor pans in the front, the rear, uh, the entire substructure of this car is as nice as you're ever going to find one. That's a little six-cylinder car. It's a convertible, and uh, you're not going to find a nicer one than this. And it's on your Hanksters website, Daytona Beach, Florida.